63% of black people believe that mental health conditions are a sign of personal weakness. That's according to the National Alliance on Mental Illness. But one organization is helping remove that stigma. Danya Bacchus has a look at how the Confess Project is using the barbershop to change the narrative of mental health for young men of color and their families. When you think mental health, well, in my personal life, though, you're working yourself ragged. You don't necessarily think of a barber shop, but at Barbarism in Compton, California, owner Donald Conley is giving his clients more. Make sure you take some time for yourself. Than just haircuts. In a barber shop, people feel safe and they feel like they can open up. He is part of the Confess Project, a coalition of black barbers trained to be mental health advocates for men who are less likely to see a therapist. As a barber, we're trained to cut hair, but however, we're trained to read people as well. The benefits are based in science. Harvard researchers found black barbers are gatekeepers of the community and could help bridge the gap with mental health care. We believe in a culture of mental health for men and boys of color, and we believe in barbers. We just believe in the trust that they inherently have in the community. The Confess Project now has more than 1,000 barbers in 40 cities. We train them on active listening, positive communication, validation, and stigma reduction. Yeah. Clients like Aaron Michael Peace. He says sitting in Conley's chair doesn't just help him look good, but feel good too. There has been absolute times where uh, Throughout the week, I go through the week like, dang, I'm super stressed. But I know on a Friday or a Saturday, I have a haircut coming. And when that haircut comes, I can sit in this chair. I can um, talk to my barber. The number of people that I'm able to serve and help means exponentially more than the money that I could ever make. Conley says he's proud to provide a safe space for black men so they can feel seen and heard. Right. Don Yabakis, CBS News, Los Angeles.